we did understand that what exactly a review process is and how it can be actually conducted within an organization in a formal way. And there are a lot of several stages which need to be followed and various responsibilities which need to be taken care of in order to execute a review. But did you know that there might be different ways to conduct a review other than the one which we spoke about in our previous episode? So yes, we do have different types of review and we'll be talking about more on those types of review today. everyone and greetings for the day welcome back to another episode of testing in nutshell this is Neeraj Kumar Singh and today we are talking about the various types of review which can actually happen within any organization in our previous episode we explored that what exactly a review process is or a formal review process how exactly it can be conducted what are the important phases and what are the various roles which are responsible to be contributing to the effectiveness of review process but when it comes to different types of review, one or the other way, these mandatory activities or mandatory responsibilities, if they are absent or you do not want to spend so much in terms of making it a heavy process or in order to involve a lot of people, it might be also conducted as a lightweight process. And thus, as light it is, we have a different type of review. To just list down, we have four types of review which are available which can be used within an organization at different point of time depending upon the requirement or in terms of requirement when I say it means like what kind of requirement do you have for review, okay? And based on that, you can decide what type of review can be applied at that particular moment. So we have four standard types of review, informal review, walkthrough, technical review, inspection. I'm just going to quickly highlight you as this channel is about testing in nutshell. So we will not be getting into the depth of it, but yes, I'll be giving you a quick overview of these four types. To start with is the most formal review, inspection. Inspection is actually the most formal review and uh, it exactly follows the process which we discussed about in our previous video and understood about what exactly a formal review process is. That means it makes sure that all the roles and responsibilities are determined as a full-fledged planning process, initiating a review, individual preparation, review meeting, and fixing and reporting. Whereas the roles are like author, moderator, scribe, reviewers, and uh, even a review leader, including the manager will be involved in the review meeting. But when it comes to other types of review, for example, when it comes to informal, it's completely informal. That means no formal process takes place. Now, when we say no formal process, that means there are not such more like more number of people involved. There is no such particular step like uh, planning, initiate review and all. Then what kind of concept does informal review apply? Like you wrote certain test cases and you ask your colleague to review your test cases. Just means just two people involved in reviewing a certain thing is called as informal review. Now, what's the benefit of doing such things? Of course, a small thing can be reviewed by a single person or maybe your technical lead. Now, that does not require a lot of people or heavy preparation in order to review your certain test cases. But yes, a senior resource of your team can actually review that and that he can provide or she can provide you a lot of comments in order to update your test cases. So yes, that's how informal review is helpful as an inexpensive way to get a lot of benefits in terms of reducing the effort and cost of conducting a review. So we have informal review for such scenarios. The second one is walkthrough. The only unique thing about walkthrough as per the standard is that it is led by the author. Now, what do you mean by that? Now, when we say, for example, I'm a test manager and I want to, uh, I've written a test plan. Okay, I have prepared test plan, but I want to invite only certain test engineers, probably the senior test engineers, including test analysts or some senior resources of my team and ask them to review my test plan and contribute to that. Now, I might be calling them in a meeting invite and uh, I will be also organizing that. Okay, this is the document. This is the you know, plan. This is what we are going to have. This is where we will be having the session and what time, how long, all these things I'll be only coordinating with the reviewers and then when they come to that meeting me being the author itself I have become the moderator also and then I give them the heads up of the test plan like means I present it 
to the reviewers right there and explain them hey look this is the schedule this is the objective this is the entry criteria this is the exit criteria this is the area we have decided to automate and etc etc so this approach is what you call it as a walkthrough where you put your efforts being the author of the document and maybe probably the members from the same team will be involved so people from the same group or peer group will be involved to review the content and uh, you collect a lot of feedback from them but you are involved as an author you also become moderator that means no separate moderator will be required in walkthrough but as you see as more people are involved and you have certain plans like happening there some optional preparation is also possible that you may give them some time to prepare and come back this is also one of the option whereas the third one is technical review which is little more formal than these two types of uh, review but not completely formal where technical review is more of a standard driven process if say for example you are working on a technical safety product or safety critical systems and all like aerospace uh, banking or probably talking about any of the amusement park elevator softwares or any such which involves human life and money so it is more of a standard driven or rather like you know contractual driven or probably having a lot of safety standards to be taken care of so thus such documents or such work products will be reviewed through technical review what's unique about technical review it is reviewed only by technical experts or peer group experts that means when you say technical expert it means that a person who is expertized in that particular domain or a person who is completely expert in that particular technology or area and he is the one or she is the one can provide you all necessary information in order to meet the expectation so there are a lot of regulatory parameters standard parameters safety critical things and such standards which are given by global organizations that you should meet in order to release your product into the market and uh, such work products will be reviewed through technical review but yes it is now more formal compared to the informal and walk through and it will be well defined if the process which requires moderator and uh, author will be only the author we have a lot of reviewers and all the reviewers are actually technical experts and uh, domain experts and having good knowledge of standards additionally there will be a scribe there will be a individual preparation happening so this is how it makes it more stronger and better compared to the other informal reviews so putting it all together we have four types of review informal walk through technical and inspection where informal is completely informal like least formal review whereas inspection is the most formal review and walk through and technical are in between that but yes each one have their own application like where exactly it can be applicable and beneficial within the process so that's really important for any individual to be aware of what type of reviews do we have and how these reviews will be helpful at different point of time where to conduct a least formal review where to conduct a most formal review is what we need to decide wisely when it comes to different types of work products so that's all from this particular episode team i hope you really enjoyed this and had really good takeaways from this session stay connected for more and if you have any questions beyond this feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning